With the release of 12.11.5 to Escape from Tarkov, I knew it was time to do some quick testing to see if there was any noticeable improvement to resource usage and performance in the game. Whether you're CPU or GPU bottlenecked, or neither, in Escape from Tarkov, it's always an important question to ask about optimization, hence why I'm making this video. Are the optimizations PSG made going to help our performance in game, or are they simply quality of life changes in the menu? Today. I'm Clem in time to help you out with your performance. Before we jump in though, I'd like to mention that most of my commentary after this point is from my Twitch, link in description, which is where I will be recording these tests in the future just to see if there was any performance impact with each update. So if you want to participate in those or you just want to hang out, either way, love to have you there. Anyway, let's hop in. Very excited. Oh. Let me get MSI Afterburner open too, because we're going to use that for testing here. I know exactly where to go because I made a test video with uh, post FX in that one little like garage area I'm reserved. So I'm going to cross reference that and see if there's any like usage difference. I'm glad I made that video because if I didn't, then I wouldn't have that reference. Okay. We're in. I'm just going to prompt all this sh shit to load here. That seems like that loaded. A that loads a lot quicker. That loads a lot quicker. I mean, like it, it stutters for like a split second when it when it loads, but that's a shit ton quicker. Holy crap! Okay, yep, all this is reset. Hold on, Rash shadows off. Oh, and also, since people were complaining about my GPU temperatures in the last video, I'm gonna set my fans to be at relatively high speeds so that people aren't afraid that I'm melting my entire setup with an 82 degree GPU. And then the video didn't capture for all of my testing until I actually did live runs. But what I can do is provide you a summary of what happened within those tests. Essentially, we found no performance improvement uh, due to the changes that they made regarding shadows. However, there was a pretty good loading time decrease when going into raids, at least from what I saw. I loaded into my offline raid, which normally took maybe 50 seconds to a minute in like 35, which is a pretty good increase, and I think that'll help you get into your raids a little bit quicker. But like I said before, there was no performance benefit when actually in raid. But again, it all comes down to your personal testing with these settings. I cannot sit here and tell you regardless of system specs that X setting is simply the best for you. Uh, Tarkov is again still in beta and they're still working to actively optimize the game. Hence why the reaction of everybody's systems to running the game is going to be different. I have been actually preparing a video talking about this exact topic about Tarkov optimization for a little bit now. I even recorded the voiceover before this came out and then of course this came out and then I was doing some testing. So I'm going to take a small snippet of what I recorded from that session and put it into this video, so if you guys are either CPU or GPU bottlenecked, here are some quick tips to help you get at least a little bit more performance through the Tarkov settings, uh, if anything. Past me from a couple days ago, <laughs> please take it away. So starting off, if you are CPU bottlenecked with an escape from Tarkov, my best advice to you within these settings is to lower your texture quality and overall visibility. Besides this, there isn't much hope for you guys because Tarkov barely has any settings that are catering to low-end CPU users. For that, I would refer to optimizations outside of Tarkov, uh, which I will be making a separate video on in the future uh, that I'll probably be linked in the end card whenever it is made. Uh, however, there are plenty of other guides on YouTube for basic Windows 10 optimization outside of Escape from Tarkov that you could check out. But you GPU bottlenecked people have a lot more range and variety with your settings. To get the best bang for a buck out of mine, because that's what holds me back sometimes, I went for reducing shadow quality and visibility to their lowest, followed by disabling HBAO, SSR, and setting anisotropic filtering to per texture. This helped reduce the strain that all those fancy god ray and reflection effects had on my GPU, while also cleaning up the screen, allowing you to see through said lights and reflections a bit easier. Do keep in mind though that Sh Tarkov in general is a very GPU intensive game and turning off the shadows and everything really doesn't bring a whole lot in terms of performance. From my tests I saw roughly a 15 or 20 percent usage difference between having shadows at low and having shadows at ultra. So if you have a really bad GPU 
turning off these effects may not even give you much for performance boost at all in the long run. Then again, you'll have to do that testing for yourself. Besides that though, I want to keep the rest of the settings that I'm going to be talking about in that video a secret as far as my opinions on them for now because I want to make sure that video is unique and not just a repost. So, if you guys want to see that video, make sure to hit the like button down below. I'm trying to get it out as quick as I can, but life's a pain. I'm going to be starting a job soon and I'm literally taking a midterm tomorrow. So, with that being said, a uh, video will come out as soon as I'm able. Uh, I'm sure you guys understand it's just life sometimes. But with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really tried to get this out and get you guys something in the meantime while I'm waiting to finish this video about optimization. So thank you guys for watching, and this is Clem, locking out. Later. <laughs>